cow in sight. I think I know where they might be. I knew it. I take it you guys don't like the weather about as much as I. Nothing to say? You're a quiet bunch today. So I just laid out a fresh uh, windrow of hay for the cows and with it being a rainy day like today and they're calling for a lot of wind, I chose to go up against this tree line here. Give you a little bit of a view. Um, they're calling for a, a west wind today and it'll be perfect. They shouldn't see and they shouldn't feel any wind here. Um, I've been out here on some pretty heavy windy days, I think 70 kilometer plus, and you're pretty sheltered here against this tree line, and they're close to the barn. A lot of Texas Longhorn ranchers don't even have a barn for the cows, they basically just have a, a, like a, a shop for their tools and their tractor, and uh, <clears throat> some of the ranches, <clears throat> excuse me, even further north than us, we're in southern Ontario, and some of the guys up north, they, they don't even have a barn for the cows. The robust cows, um, they put on a nice thick coat for the winter and uh, yeah, they do really well. Uh, with the barn door open in minus 10, minus, eight, minus 15 even, I'll catch them uh, taking a nap in the snow instead of hunkering down in the barn. Whoop, watch your step. Snap hook to lock it. We're good to go. It's a lot windier over here than it was along the tree line. I just can't get over how much of a wind blocker those trees really are. It's amazing. Like I said, we don't really need it, but it's cool. The bottom wire is disconnected. <laughs> Not just because I was going to be shoveling here, but because the bottom wire is half buried in snow. So instead of shoveling all the snow and making a bunch of work for myself, I just disconnect the bottom wire. And the calves are big enough that um, they can't really fit underneath. I mean, right here, probably, but um, with a bit of snow on the pasture and then stepping on it, there's, there's no worry on my end. So I just disconnect the bottom one and we're good to go. And then. Once the snow's all gone, we'll reconnect it and uh, we'll be good. Can someone please give him a proper spade shovel?
Welcome to Mount Pooh. Here comes Betty, my favorite little heifer. She's gonna come see if I have a treat for her. Come here, Betty. Don't touch the fence. Oh, here come the rest of the calves. She can smell I don't have a treat. She's disappointed. No, not interested. Sorry kids. No treats. You have a fat belly. You eat too much. We should leave some for the others. You know, you kids should stop playing in the puddles, you know? You're awful dirty. Well, even the gallop, another girl. Just want to check, no one's coming with you. Hey, it's okay, I have a treat. Look. Hey, Betty, come. Let's see if Ashley will come. Ashley's the brown one. Come on, Ashley. What's gotten into you? Are you scared? Come on, Betty. Show her how it's done. So these are just hay cubes, <laughs> but they absolutely love them. I would say. Come on, buddy. Here she comes. You too, Ashley. Pocket full of treats for the Cassies today. You know, you two are spoiled. Don't tell the others, okay? okay. One for you. One for you. You're going to let me pet you for a little bit. Ooh. That electric fence was zapping my coat. Must be an insulated jacket. One more. You know what? Let's see if we can break it in half. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, great cameraman skills. Up high. Stretch those neck muscles out. Come on. Get up there. Oh. Good attitude. That was close. Whew. Okay, you know what? I won't tempt you. Let's get away from it. You're a pig. Eat with your mouth closed. Or chew with your mouth closed. Piggy. I like your coloring. 
In your horn direction, you're coming out just right. You, however, yours are coming up pretty, pretty vertical. We head down. There you go. Still nice coloring, but very vertical uh, horns. So yours are going to come out much nicer, but you have a chance. Yeah, don't touch that. Sorry, I'll get away from it again. Go play. You need a lot of attention, don't you? Yes, yes, yes. When you start petting her, she gets weird. She gets, well not weird, she gets really desperate for another pet. She just can't have just one. Checking to see if Gus is home. That's her neighbor's dog. He's the father of her uh, future litter, unfortunately. That's what you got. Be in free range. See what we're up to. Hey, Betty. And Ashley. And Bean. Bean's got his eye on the river. I don't think he likes the dog. High alert. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, Susie's cooking some supper. She's got uh, homegrown chicken stew. Um, so yeah, again, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for joining us on Little Acres Ranch. And you guys have a good night and a good weekend. <laughs>